Now I have a broom again. Yeah, but that thing makes us get hit like stupid. I'm going back to the broom, dude. At least I don't get hit when I'm using the broom. That other weapon makes me get hit like all the time. The shield one? I just kept losing health the whole time. Like, it probably does more damage, but I'm just gonna keep losing health. It's not doing anything for me. Sheesh. Don't drop that. Okay, we're doing like 10 times better this time around. Today marks my first steps into these mysterious dungeons. They were discovered not far from Renoka, a small and incredibly charming village just north of the crater, and they are quite a unique occurrence. Any number of adventurers may enter a dungeon at once, but no one will adventure together. These dungeons seem to build themselves around the one entering. A unique maze for each person, never the same labyrinth twice, twice. One must ask, though, if no one is currently inside the dungeon, does it even exist? Now these, these are the questions. Many right now are flooding to these dungeons for their treasure, completely disregarding the inherent danger of the hostile creatures inside, just for some gold, some fame, but not I, no. It's all the, about the questions for me. Where did these dungeons come from? Why do they constantly shift and change, and why are they filled with unseen treasures? I'm not here for the what, I'm here for the how and why. Ah, so that's what that is. So you can just like, you had to like charge that one up. And then this one's stupid, and we don't use it. Okay, so we gotta go back now. Okay, so we can go up. Dude. You just keep getting hit by it. Oh, what is that? From the wear of their bodies, I would have to say these golems have been fighting here for centuries. Whatever power supplies them, it must be darn near infinite. Okay. I guess we got a health- Oh, shoot. Should have checked. Okay, what is this? Oh, same thing. No. Don't make me read it. Go away. Okay, so we could go left or up. I'm gonna go left. Ooh. Jeez. So the hardest- ah, maybe that's my issue. I think I get my issue now is that I was using the thumbstick and I really should have been using the d-pad. Um... Dude! Fuck me, dude. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I'll just be better now for using the d-pad, because that was, like, really fluffing me up. 
Because it wouldn't, like, move where I was asking it to. I just keep getting hit, dude. These things are coming at me stupid, bro. Dang, I clicked the wrong button, and now they've hit me so many times already. Okay, cool. Oof. You still have 60, though. Okay, what does this do? Uh, destroys one item curse in the direction shown when placed. Okay, so maybe... I've seen some of this, so I know what I'm doing. Oh, shoot. No, put that back. Um, pick up all of it. And then put that there. And we get gold runes. Okay, okay. What does this do? Destroys one item upon returning to town. We'll just put that there. Oh, what the hell? Why didn't I pick up this one? Okay, that's fine. Um, we still go this way. Okay, this is just some more lore. So, I was attacked by a moving rock today. Can you imagine? A rock that moves? I did what any sensible person would do in this situation and smacked it right back. It shattered upon the ground, leaving behind a stone heart, a core, as we have come to call it. It's one of the many unique treasures that can only be found in this dungeon, dropped by a guard unique to only this dungeon. I have to say, each of these dungeons have a very particular environment, culture all of its own. That's what that one dude said. Ah, uh, heal it up. Ooh, sick, we got some. Ah, I kind of get the feel for them now. You get one's from each side. It's just hard getting, getting to that point. These are easier. Come on, kill it. Thank you. There we go. He can't hit us, but we can hit him. Just how I like it. Fair and square. Wait. Does that go to the next one? The next, like... Uh, Cause that's not a normal door. We don't want to go to the next realm yet. We're not good enough for that. Okay, so, did we get this chest? We- yeah, we did, okay. It's like, what? Yeah, we haven't even went right yet. We still have a hundred health, so we might as well. Shoot, I'm stuck on a chest. Stop hitting me, bro. You don't even know me like that. There we go. All dead, except for this guy. Thinks he has every right to touch my stuff. Oh, bro. You wanna fight like that? Are you for real?
No! Okay, we got it. What's this? Fabric must be placed to the left or right. Okay. And then we have a sword that also needs on the left or right, so... Move all those down. Boom. I mean, we're doing okay on health. We're not like the worst. Our bag's kind of full. Maybe we go ahead and head back. Sell some stuff. We got 15 guys. Okay, let's get it ready. Um. Let's put stuff we don't have yet in here. So we have enough of those. Quick move. Some of those. I don't want them all to go if they can't all go. Quick move those. Keep those. Quick move that. Oh, that only stacks to five. Okay. Man, those sold for a lot, but I want to have like a little bit of everything because I don't know what stuff costs yet. Let's sell some stuff. Do we know a price for that? No. Well, we always start at a hundred. Actually, I can quick move it. And two was too good. So we're gonna go up to five, because 10 was bad. Pretty sure that's the same for this, yeah. So we'll go up to five. And five was good for that, okay. Oh well, shoot, I didn't want to exit. I wanted to open my store. Hello. Come check out my goods. You don't want my stuffs. You're gonna look out the window. You're just out there. You saw what you saw. Come on. Give me it. How- uh, is it good? Yes. Okay, that's what I'm worried about. Are those bad? I had a feeling that was too high. Considering... How about we do this? How about we go 10? Um, how's 2 on these? 2 is good, okay. What do you think about that twig? Good price? Good. That's what I'm looking for. Ooh, too much for the flask? Jeez. We really sold ourselves short, didn't we? Oh, too much for whatever that was, too. We don't have a price on these? I'm gonna say 20. So we've been lowballing it at 10. Sheesh, we're making no money. I mean, we need at least 300. Because I think that's what it costs to get out of that cave. It was like 200 or something. Come on, take my stuff. Maybe we should just sell stuff until we can actually... Actually, like, afford... To keep things. 20 was lowball on a broken sword? Okay. I mean, let me go get some things. Um, take these flasks. I know I can sell these. Sell this stuff. How about that? Now, I'm pretty sure they said that was too good. 
So we're gonna go up to 30 on those. 100 was good. I'm gonna do 100 on those. And I'm gonna do 30 on those. Let's see how we do with this. What are you thinking about those flasks? Yeah, 100 a good price on the flask, okay. Ooh, too much for the jelly. Let's go down to 10. It's just jelly. Actually, do we have? We don't have anything else to sell yet. Ooh. Oh, too much for the fabric. Okay. Still too much, or I mean, yeah, too little for the fabric. Um, people don't like jelly. Good price on the crystal, okay. And we're at, we're at 500, so I think our store is gonna be closing, yep. How much did we make? A thousand. Better profit that, that time. Okay, but um, I do want to go ahead and buy, can I buy you? Okay, there we go. That way, we can start thinking about weapons. Is he gonna come talk to me? We just gotta watch him leave? Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, you must be Will, no? The one who requested my forge? My name is Andre, Forge Master Extraordinaire. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's Forge is the place. Okay. This gives us speed. This gives us just a little bit extra defense. Less speed. Ooh. So now we have to kind of decide if we want the speed. If we just want defense. I kind of like the speed. With like a little bit less defense. Oh, we need fabric, crumble, and... Um, blue light. Okay, what else you got? I don't like swords and shields. I didn't like it. I could probably do a big sword, but that speed decrease sucks. A spear? Hmm. Spear would be nice. Gloves? I don't think I'd like gloves. A bow? A bow could be alright. Let's do- let's try spear. And we need flask and crumble. Okay. I'll remember that. Let's do this. Oh, I meant to let go sooner than that. There we go. Oh, we got some of the flasks. We needed those. Okay. Let's keep it going. some more flasks. Um, hey, here's some crumble. There we go. So, actually, I kinda... I'm gonna move stuff based off of need. So these are like very low priority things. Those are, I don't know, priority things. Some of them just have to go in certain spots, so, cool. Nothing? Is that? Yeah, I think that's it. 
Oh shoot. Hey, we got our blue bubble. No, give it here. Nothing? Okay. And I don't want to go to the next realm yet. So we're just going to head on back. Heal up. Our backpack's still pretty empty, so we got a lot, a lot left to do. Nothing. Bruh. Leave me be. Okay. Nothing we really needed. We got this guy out of the way. He gave us a good old flask, which is what we need. Um, those are worth a lot. We should be able to stack these. There we go. I don't want to leave yet. We're still doing pretty good, I thought. Sheesh. Seems like it's pretty easy to just like step on the side of someone and still get them. Ah, the lore room. Just what I've been looking for. Can we read it? Um, they're like moths. Like moths to the flame, I tell ya. These adventurers, so many attracted to the dungeons. So many to only feel the burn. Luckily, if you pass out in the dungeon from exhaustion or pain, it spits you out. Eventually. It's a messy ordeal, no one really knows what happens, but one eventually wakes up outside the dungeon with only small traces of slime nearby and, well, any injuries they may have accumulated inside. Yes, yeah, some have left the dungeon to return, but plenty have stuck it out. Many enjoy the thrill of the fight, many looking for that big payday. There really is so much more to these dungeons, though. Is there? Is there really that much more to the dungeons? I just want to get through every room, besides, like, the extra room, and then we'll leave. Oh, shoot. Okay, we got him. We didn't need that vine anyway, so I'm not too worried. Oof. Okay, we got a flask. No, we need that. Thank you. Okay, this one has to go there, and this one has to go there. Um... Do we leave? I mean, probably, because don't, we don't have any health. So let's just head on out. Because we only have 36 left, so, okay, first floor it costs 200 to get out. Good to know. But now we should be making bank, dude. Opening up the shop. Come on, buy my stuff. You're quick. 
You don't buy quick though, and so do you stand by my fire? Like, go home. Ah, the stick. Good choice. Oh, really? There's a lot for that jelly? I didn't have it that much more when people, like, literally hated it. Wait, wait, are those good prices? That might be... Two is good. Five is not good. So... We'll go 15. Good price, good price. Cool. And 100, I think that was, like, a really great price. So let's go up to 300. Sick. Sick. Sick! We're getting good at this, guys. How come if that guy got there first, he couldn't... He couldn't buy it first. It was like whoever picked it up first. I hope that's a good price on that fabric. Yeah, it was. 300 for fabric. Jeez. Okay. That was a good selling day. Get out of my house. Thank you. How much did we make? 2,000. It's 1,000 more every day. And everything kind of went up a little bit. Okay, what can we buy from you now? I think we should be able to get this spear, right? Yeah. Oh, you could add stuff to your wish list. That's cool. Okay. So... I kind of want speed. Let's add that to our wish list. That to our wish list. And those. Just so we can keep track. Oh, we needed fabric. Shoot, we need fabric, crumble, and blue goo. Okay. Do I need to equip? There we go. Uh, we could buy the other girl, too. Let's go ahead and buy her. See what she's doing. Cool. What you selling, my girl? Oh, a customer? My apologies, it's just this book. It's so good. Okay, yes, I am Eris, Weaver and Potion Master. Come to the wooden hat when you need a potion or enchantment. What do you want to craft today? Yeah, we could use some potion. Oh, we don't have any... Any, uh... Any jelly. 40 health? Oh. So we could just buy some, or we could craft some. Okay. Cool. 75 health, 200. 500. Or... Well, we can't make that yet, but restores full health, a vital potion for more difficult dungeons. Reveals the golem map. Fireflies will guide the user to the next floor. Feels forest dungeon map upon use. And those are all for the different dungeons. Okay. Um, I'm gonna grab one of those. Just buy it right here, just in case. Actually, or you sold two things, right? Oh hi, this book so good. Yes, what can I do for you? Enchantments. So, okay, cool. We can't really enchant anything, otherwise we can't get out of, um, the dungeon, but... So that's all we need to enchant is just, okay. Pink crystals. Cool, good to know. Now let's go get in this dungeon with our new weapon, see how we do.